Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in Battle Rap. But you already know what we're here to talk about. Murder the Mook versus Tay Rock. This was the battle of the motherfucking moment. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas did a thousand fifteen minutes of fame, fifteen minutes of fame interviews. They did a thousand hip hop is real interviews, and then they came down to the battle last night. It started off. Murder Mook started the battle off first. You know what I'm saying? And I, I felt like if Tay Rock went second, that he would have the advantage. But Joe, this shit just like the first was crazy. Mook came out swinging. This nigga was like addressing everything from from. All the angles that niggas wanted to hear about and wanted him to touch on, this nigga actually did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's and it's something about these Harlem niggas. Like, this nigga Mortar Moot had a fucking third round, like Loaded Lux had versus Calico. You go get this work. That that's what these th that third round was. This nigga broke Tay Rock down. I'm just gonna be real, bro. I like I fuck with Tay Rock. I fuck with the nigga the long way. Pause. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's just the way Murder Moot actually put that fucking third round. He and, and, and I blame that on Tay Rock because you should have gave this nigga a time limit. Oh, nah, rap as long as you want, bro. I don't give a damn. You can rap all night. That's where you fucked up. You should have told this nigga to have his rounds at five to six minutes capped out. You feel me? And if he would have capped out at five to six minutes, then maybe he wouldn't have had to, maybe he wouldn't have been, been able to get to the point that he got to. You know what I'm saying? He would have had to trim a lot of that fat and offer his bars and it wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? It would have been able to uh, translate how it did on Cam, but when you gave this nigga an unlimited round, this nigga touched on the tranny shit, this nigga said, yo, this nigga had, it. this nigga verbatimly said the conversation, the, the audio is gone, but the way this nigga said the conversation, it made it look like that, that shit really happened, you know what I'm saying, and this nigga said, you call my mama a bitch, this what my mom say, he addressed this nigga in words that his mama would say from heaven, that was crazy, that whole third round was just crazy, bro, but in the second, I'm going to give Tay Rock his flowers, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, in a second. Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying? This nigga did his thing. He did his numbers. He did his numbers in that motherfucking second round. And we already know Tay Rock's second rounds be crazy. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga came out. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his doing his numbers in the second. Like, how Tay Rock do? He was gun barring this nigga to death. But I also want to say this. Tay Rock was actually talking to this man, too. He was talking to that nigga, man. He was, he was just talking to him. Like, I never seen Rock actually get in his bag and do that where he was trying to talk to a nigga and not kind of, like, punch him back to back, which he had punches in there. But he was basically talking to this nigga like, yo, nigga, you, you ain't do this. You you, you never uh, was around and all this shit. I carried the torch for Dot Mob, nigga. You was, you was just a nigga in the background looking, trying to critique what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I was the front runner of the group, even though it was your group. Nigga, I was like, I was running the shit. So, Tay Rock actually talked to that nigga in the second. So, I got Murder Mook with the third. I got Tay Rock with the second. And those are clear. You know what I'm saying? So, now it comes down to the first. Who has the best first of the battle? You know what I'm saying? Like, and Tay Rock is more my generation. Murder Mook is kind of, you know what I'm saying, the first generation of the URL. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock is the Smack DVD era. I mean, Murder Mook is the Smack, D the Smack DVD era. Tay Rock is the URL era. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo, who are you going to go with in that first? And I just feel like Murder Mook maybe edge Tay Rock. Just maybe by an edge in that first. Maybe by an edge. You got to like, you gotta go back and watch that shit again because Tay Rock first was crazy. His his first was crazy. So I don't, I don't, I don't like not niggas for saying that motherfucking, uh, Tate Rock won the first two rounds because that could very well that could very well be said. You know what I'm saying? But Murder Moot came out spazzing, but that third, it just kind of you it, it, it sits with you. That third that, that Murder Moot had it sits with you more than that third that Tay Rock had. I feel like Tay Rock bought Tay Rock rounds got weaker and weaker as it, as the battle went on. He had his strongest first and his weakest last. Murder Moot uh, rounds got stronger as the battle went on. He has his weakest, weakest first and his strongest last, and that's gonna resonate and sit with you more as the shit will go on. So I feel like, you know, maybe Murder Mook might have edged that battle. You know what I'm saying? In the first because he got the third, Tay Rock got the second, and in the first it's kind of like an edge. You can, if you edge Tay Rock, I'm not mad. If you edge Murder Mook, I'm not mad. It's debatable. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be real. Nobody died here. Nobody died. Murder Mook didn't die. Tay Rock didn't die. It was a it was a good battle. It was a fight. They went in there and they fought. They, they went in there, Kimbo Slice, and they fought in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? That's what these niggas did. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy ass battle. But I felt like, you know what I'm saying, Murder Mook edged this battle. I ain't even gonna hold you. Uh, but if you give it to Tate Rock the first two, I ain't even mad at that either. 
You know what I'm saying? Both of these niggas are, are, are giants in the game. They solidify. They hold their spot. You know what I'm saying? So it's like era to era, Murder Mook can come back and still play in this era. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock can actually go and battle with these greats. You know what I'm saying? With these battle rap gods, as they so-called themselves. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like both of these niggas actually won in the sense of the overall picture. But in the battle, I would actually have to edge this shit to Murder Mook. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like his material just actually resonated more. And he touched on more angles what niggas wanted to hear in that third round. But salute to you, Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? You're one of the, one of the top niggas in the game. Keep doing your numbers, murder move. We know you go sit out for another three years, and then you're gonna come back and battle. We know that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget subscribe to the channel for all your latest news, updates, content, and more the battle rap. I'm out, man. Great battle.